Hey, what's happening guys? It is, we're either very, very late or very, very early, depending on how you look at it. It is Black Friday, and Uncle Paul's had too much turkey and can't sleep. So, if I was only fitting, we take a look at something from China that might make a good gift. A gift, of course. I mean, you know, the kind you buy for yourself because you just got to have it. This here is the ZK-PP1K PWM generator and pulse generator. And this was sent out to us by our friends at IC Station, free of charge for our consideration. So big thanks to Juanita and the folks at IC Station for sending this out. Now this little guy, and I do mean little, if we take a look here we're looking at 7.5 millimeters by 4 millimeters by what, two and three quarter millimeter and it weighs absolutely nothing and it costs absolutely nothing the price on this is three dollars and ninety one cents freedom bucks of course you know if you're living up there in Canada I don't know I guess they take freedom bucks and multiply them by six to get Canadian dollars whatever but anyway so this is pretty cool uh, it has a frequency range of 1 hertz to 150 kilohertz. And right now, I've got it in the PWM mode. And you can tell it's the PWM mode because it's got the little uh, percent sign there. I know it's hard for you guys to see the screen here. It's, it's not that bright. Kind of like me. Anyway, 150 kilohertz at 50% duty cycle. And if we zoom in there and take a look. There it is on the El Scopo scope. Let me change the duty cycle here. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. Look at the offset when I change the duty cycle. That's 10%. 50%. Let me just make sure. Channel 1, put it in DC mode. Set our trigger. All right, now let's try this. Let's uh, run the duty cycle up. Oh. Okay, I guess it doesn't do it in PWM mode. But anyway. So it's super simple to work. You've got frequency up and down. And you've got duty cycle up and down and that's for the PWM mode now if we press and hold pulse mode why didn't it go press and hold ah, maybe the output has to be off now we'll try it Oh, it's not switching. All right, apparently I just didn't hold it long enough. So now we are in the pulse mode. If we turn that on, we'll get a bunch of pulses. Let me fire it up again here. Output on. And there you can see our pulses coming across the screen. Again, it's super simple. Number of pulses and uh, the pulse width. Nothing uh, too complicated there at all. Take it apart. And see what makes it tick. Uh, pretty simple single board construction there, huh? Hold on, pop this out. There you go. Pops out nice and easy like. So on the front side, we've got a simple little LCD display and uh, six buttons. And on the back side, well, that's where the interesting stuff is. Let's zoom in. Okay, so this is a uh, whole tech. 
but you guys can read the numbers on there. I can't quite see it. That'd be our processor. Got a little drive transistor over here. Little diode protection across the input. Yeah, there ain't much to it at all. There's this little connector here. Now, when I look at the uh, the description on their website, it says that is an output enable disable. So I guess you could, you know, put that on an external switch if you want. Do we have a header? I don't see a header. Thought maybe it might be computer controllable. All right, what I've done here is I've put it in pulse mode. And on our top line, we have our positive pulse, negative pulse. Now, if I press and hold the set button for a couple of seconds, we can set our pulse widths and delay time. So we'll put that back down there. Come and take a look at the screen. Let's see if I can get everything on the screen at once for you here. Hit the output. We got a nice little pulse generator. So I tell you what, for four bucks, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a definite go. There's a lot of uses for something like this. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind here. Let's see if I can find where it says it. Uh, 30 milliamps output, so you're not driving. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, anything too much with it. About the same output power as an Arduino. So, hope you guys liked this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to IC Station. Big thanks to you and you and you and you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.